This week, the Large Hadron Collider was turned on again as the world observed keenly, holding its breath. Along with the Collider, the debate was back on as well if the world would end because of it. But fortunately, we survived. But would we tomorrow, or the day after that? The Large Hadron Collider may be our own creation, but the universe itself has so much going on that it could all fall apart any second. Imagine if physics suddenly changed, or two universes in the multiverse suddenly collided. What if dark energy vanishes, or the black holes become extremely violent, and it all can happen the very next second? Still alive and watching? Good. The universe is a scary place to live in, but it is going to end sometime. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe 22 billion years from now? Welcome to Factnominal. And today, let's find out what are the most possible 10 ways the universe will come to an end and how much time do we have. The quantum physics theory implies that because of quantum particles, the universe fundamentally exists in a state of instability. But observing the values of quantum physics particles, some astrophysicists believe that the universe is teetering towards stability. And if the universe did become stable, quantum physics will grow weird and give birth to a universe inside our own that will have different properties and expand at the speed of light, destroying everything in its path. We all have heard the saying, ashes to ashes and dust to dust, right? The saying insinuates that we are made of dust, so must return to dust. But does the same logic apply to the universe as well? If the universe emerged from a singularity during the Big Bang, does it have to return to the singularity? Before the Big Bang, it is theorized that all matter in space existed as a singularity, an infinitely dense point in the abyss of nothing. But then, for some reason, an explosion happened everywhere all at once, and the matter expanded outward at an astonishing rate and the universe came to be. The Big Bang theory is the most well-evidenced and solidly reasoned theory of the origin of the universe. According to theoretical physicists who believe that the universe is supposed to return to the state of a singularity at the end of its days, believe that the whole process will essentially reverse. In short, the Big Crunch will be the stark opposite of the Big Bang. Currently, the universe is expanding due to dark energy having an upper hand over gravity. But that may not be the case in the long run, as the history of the universe has taught us that dark energy wasn't always there to expand the universe. In fact, after the initial rapid expansion due to the Big Bang, the universe slowed down substantially until the dark energy jump started the expansion once more. According to the Big Crunch theory, gravity will eventually overcome dark energy in the eternal tug of war between the two forces. This means the expansion of the universe would slow down to the point that it would halt and as gravity would start winning, it would pull everything back together and the universe would contract instead. This contraction will pull all galaxies, stars, planets, black holes, nebulas, and constellations together and continue to compress them until they become an infinitely dense singularity again. Then, what would be left are the same conditions that the universe had before the Big Bang. All the matter of the universe condensed into an infinitesimal point, the primordial singularity. However, this doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon as based on our current knowledge, dark energy still has a prominent lead on gravity, and the universe appears to be expanding at an accelerating rate. Till now, we have explored the possibilities of either gravity overcoming dark energy, or the universe maintaining the status quo towards the universe's end of days. But what if the influence of dark energy keeps increasing? In yet another theory about the universe which starts with the word big, astrophysicists proposed that there is a chance that gravity will lag more and more as time passes. So dark energy will drive the acceleration to the extent that the universe would not be able to handle it anymore and tear it apart into shreds. Hence, the big rip. The most horrifying part of this theory is that, unlike other theories, the theorists have a specific time frame for this one nearly 16 billion years. This is long before the stars will extinguish or black holes will evaporate out of existence. There would still be millions of galaxies existing in the universe that would have to endure this cataclysm. If there is a scenario where a cosmic apocalypse could happen everywhere all at once, this would be it.
If gravity does win eventually, some optimistic astrophysicists think the possible end we are calling the Big Crunch will also harbinger another beginning, the Big Bounce. In this scenario, after gravity wins the rivalry with dark energy and pulls every single atom in the universe to a cosmological singularity, the Big Bounce takes it even one step further. The theory proposes that the process of rapid compression would culminate in another Big Bang down the line, and a new universe would be born out of this recycling process. As much as this theory sounds like a happy ending, physics tends to disagree with this fairy tale like explanation of the universe's life cycle. Some scientists have tried to make sense of it, proposing that perhaps the universe doesn't go the whole way back to a singularity. Instead, it gets very close and then is repelled by a force similar to the one that repels a ball when you bounce it off the floor. In summary, the Big Bounce is a combination of the Big Crunch and Big Bang happening one after the other. If this theory is by any chance correct, then that means our universe could be the first, 50th, or 5 millionth universe in an oscillating universe theory. But what if it is too late before gravity could get an upper hand and dark energy would pull the biggest escape of the universe? What if gravity never gets strong enough to overcome the expansion of the universe? and galaxies would keep drifting apart like tragic lovers never to meet again. The voids between galaxies will become wider and wider and galaxies would become isolated pockets of the universe, totally self-dependent on their own resources. Resources that will exhaust over time. As one after the other, stars will die in every galaxy, they would become darker and darker, losing not only light but heat as well. The universe follows the same rules as any thermodynamic system and they all end up the same way with heat evenly distributed throughout. As heat distributes, the temperature will drop and galaxies will wound up losing the heat and energy required to ignite new stars. And eventually, these galaxies will go out indistinguishable from the eternal darkness engulfing them. These galaxies won't just vanish because they still have matter in them, but there will be no heat to bring it to order, so matter will exist in particle form and its motion will be totally random as they would have no energy to exchange between them. The universe will achieve an equilibrium, albeit a very chilly one and time will stand still as even hell would freeze over. This is the heat death that could very well be the end of the universe as well. Interestingly, dark energy isn't the only suspect for causing this probable Armageddon. It can very well happen another way as well. A certain number of astrophysicists believe that all the matter in the universe is revolving around one or the other black hole. These anomalies on one hand support the Big Bang Theory as these are living and breathing singularities in our universe, while on the other hand they also contradict the idea of a singular cosmic singularity mathematically. But it is evident that black holes, being an absolute champion of gravity, attract a lot of matter around them and then devour them faster than the chips you devour while watching Stranger Things on your couch. Almost every galaxy, that is the powerhouses of almost all the matter and energy that exists in the universe, also houses a supermassive black hole in the center. A large part of the theory about the end of the universe, which involves heat death by black holes, involves them devouring stars or even entire galaxies, as they would eventually fall into the black hole's event horizon. If the universe is finite, then it is a certainty that one day black holes would ultimately devour all the surrounding matter, and we would be left with a very dark and gloomy universe, and that would only suck. Because, you see, it would be entirely made of nothing but black holes. Now and then, there would be a flash of light almost like lightning whenever an object was pulled close enough to a black hole to emit energy, and then it would fall dark again. But as gravity would swallow everything through these black holes, the universe would start looking like an abyss. Eventually, more massive black holes would start pulling smaller black holes towards them and start devouring them, and they would become even larger, enabling them to reach for more black holes. But interestingly, we are not even close to the end of the universe yet. Over time, black holes would shed most of their mass as well due to the process that is called the Hawking radiation. And as the last of the black holes will fade away, the universe will achieve equilibrium, made of nothing but subatomic Hawking radiation particles.
In previous theories, we observed that time froze because of the universe coming to an end. Whether it was by contracting into a singularity, ripping apart, or freezing over due to lack of heat. In all of these cases, the universe ends first and then time ceases to exist. But what if it happened the other way around? Astrophysicists often credit the Big Bang not only for beginning the universe, but also for the beginning of time. However, the latter part of that theory is often challenged by many scientists, who believe that time has always existed and always would. This interesting theory actually plays on the probability of time's omnipresence. If time does exist out of the physics of the current universe, then it must be infinite. And if that is true, then the odds of anything that could possibly happen would happen rises to 100%. And that's where the paradox lies. If anything that can happen would happen, there is a 100% chance of the entire universe becoming permanently incapacitated. Freeze in a single frame and never move ahead. The time's own ubiquity would kill it. And that's how the universe would come to an end, as a still, three-dimensional portrait of itself. But what if time does have an expiration date? This question has boggled the minds of scientists because time not having a limit should have broken the universe according to their calculations. Coming up with a precise time barrier for our universe is hard because we don't know exactly the boundaries of our entire universe. However, based on the calculations made with the observable universe, physics predicts that we would cross the time barrier somewhere in the next 3.7 billion years. How does time ending abruptly affect the universe's demise? That we leave to your imagination. The last two theories insinuate that the universes are forever. Yes, you heard that right, I said universes. But let's talk first if there is just one eternal universe. This model was a widely accepted model till the 1930s, when the Big Bang Theory was discovered. However, in the light of the Big Bounce Theory, this theory is having a sort of revival, and proposes that unlike the Big Bounce creating a new universe, it is the same universe repeating its cycle again and again. Yet, physics supports the idea of a multiverse more. It states that there are multiple universes existing all at once, and no matter what, the number of new universes will always outnumber the old ones. So even if time ends in one universe, it will carry on in another. I guess time does always win in the end. Tell us in the comments what you theorize about how the universe will end. And as always, thanks for watching Factnominal.